Unlike the Fall Guy and Furiosa, Bad Boys 4 is off to a great start in the theaters, looks like it's gonna make a bunch of money, and people have perhaps forgiven Will Smith. And that's gonna lead to the conversation today, which I think I've touched on in live streams in the past, but I thought it would be fun to kind of delve into it a little bit further. And that's just my personal approach to how I look at athletes, actors, musicians, pretty much anyone in media entertainment, and why I think it's the perfect approach to take. You may disagree, and that's fine. Leave it in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. But here we go. When I put out my review a couple days ago for Bad Boys 4, which is called Bad Boys Ride or Die for some stupid reason, I, I, I still can't get over how they didn't call it Bad Boys for Life. <laughs> Hollywood naming conventions are atrocious! I did mention how it was weird seeing Will Smith in a big movie again. I think it's the first time since the infamous slap at the Oscars where I had seen him on screen. And I said, it was weird. It took me like an hour of looking at the dude and not having that visual representation of him yelling at Chris Rock and getting up and smacking him out of my mind. I also said how I lost a lot of respect for him, but I should preface it with, I don't really respect really anyone full stop. <laughs> I don't have idols. I don't look up to certain people. Not even my parents in the sense of like, oh man, I, I worship these people. They don't do anything wrong. No, no. The, everybody has problems. Everybody makes mistakes. Will Smith clearly had a bad night. But I was never planning on boycotting movies because he's in them. Uh, again, I see pretty much anything anyone's in. And there's a lot of celebrities out there that have done far worse, far more egregious things off camera. And that was the big thing for me. That was the big problem with the Smith fiasco is I saw it. It was right there for millions of people. We saw him get unhinged, lose his temper, and just assault someone in front of a live studio audience. I thought I made that clear in my review, but people were upset. Of course, I, I know it's wild to think that people on the internet get triggered by commentary and things you say. And they pushed back and said, wow, how dare you, Adam? The guy slapped a dude one time in a stellar 40 plus year career. He's squeaky clean. This was his first misstep. And you're going to treat him so much worse than you would anyone else in the industry. Like they, like they know me or my thoughts on anything. It, it's pretty disgusting when people do that. When they call you out for something. And they already jump to the conclusion that they know you ahead of time. Like, I'm sure you wouldn't act this way if so and so did this. Of course, they don't actually bring up any specifics. They just allude to something, you know, grander and, and more sinister in the distance, in the background that uh, I apparently champion, even though I've never said anything to, to that point. Again, it's the fact that I saw it. I'm very much a believer that ignorance is bliss in a lot of situations, especially when it comes to our movies and our entertainment in general. We heard about Kevin Spacey doing some dicey stuff. I don't think he was ever convicted of anything, but he certainly was kicked out of Hollywood. Do I still watch his movies? Yeah, because I look at the character, not the actor. It's the only healthy way you could possibly do it. There are instances where it's tough for me to separate. I'll admit that. The Cosby Show. That's one specific instance where I cannot watch it. And apparently he took advantage of some of the women that were on there. It's just too one-to-one -one for me to detach myself from. Which sucks because Cosby was one of my favorite shows growing up. You hear weird things about Tom Cruise and Scientology and all the terrible crap going on in that organization. I'm sure it's bad. I'm sure he's weird as shit. He makes good movies. I keep it there. I walk away from all that other stuff. And if people say, oh, you're supporting this awful individual, well, you know what? He's not convicted of anything. And I'm, I'm really just trying to enjoy the film that a bunch of other people work on. It's not a one person job. There are hundreds, if not thousands of people working on these movies. The job is to entertain me and it's doing that. And I walk away from it. There are so many people that work on a film that I guarantee you there's a bunch within the group that are doing some pretty dicey things. And it comes out all the time. So-and-so who worked on this was, 
was, uh, you know, trafficking kids or it was, uh, I mean, you could just go down so many rabbit holes at this point. You would never see your way out. I read a lot of comments saying they would not see the new Bad Boys movie because Will Smith did them dirty, because they looked up to him and thought, this is a guy, a wholesome dude who made a name for himself, who had that image of being like the good guy. The one you look up to, and that's a tough place to be for anyone. When you have that amount of admiration, when you have that many people looking up to you, to not slip up probably would be pretty dangerous. I'm looking at Taylor Swift hoping that that doesn't happen to her. She doesn't just run up on stage and smack the shit out of Kanye West at some point. Although that would be absolutely hilarious and probably well-deserved. But I don't see it happening from her. And that's probably because Smith had a lot of stuff going on in his relationship, behind the scenes. Again, I don't pay attention to this stuff. There are a lot of people that do, though. They follow celebrities on Instagram and on Twitter and all these different platforms. And you really can now, more than ever before, find out everything you want to know about a celebrity and probably far too much that you shouldn't need to know about them. They put their whole lives out there sometimes. There's actors who will send you photos every day about their morning routine, what they're doing in the afternoon, what they're wearing that night. It, it just gets absurd. And so people will look at them and they'll take things they say or they'll watch a clip out of context that's been posted by someone else or an influencer on TikTok thinks they know everything about this and they pretend they have this knowledge and deep inside information and they put it out there like fact. And so people run with it or they think, well, I'm not supporting this guy anymore. You're done, Tim Allen, or you're done, Tom Hanks, or you're part of this sick, like weird cult. There's just too much noise out there. You got to push it aside and just focus on the property, focus on the movie itself. And you will be far better for it, believe me, because there's too many ways you can go. Will Smith, any actor aside, it doesn't matter at the end of the day to me. Uh, he made a mistake. He screwed up. He owned up to it, I think. K kind of. He did some weird apologies in the past. <laughs> I didn't follow anything after that. After the couple week cycle, it just, I forgot all about it, honestly. But nobody's perfect. People make mistakes all the time. And of course, everyone has skeletons. Celebrities are no different than you and I. They just probably have a lot more money. And they probably are a little bit more vain because it comes with the territory. But I don't ever see myself running up on stage and assaulting someone. Then again, I also don't see myself flying to a private island for a, you know a getaway with some weirdo individuals it's just hard to really get in the mindset of some of these actors so i just prefer not to altogether and from the looks of the box office it appears smith is still bankable people have moved on the the news cycle works so quick it's also very possible people completely forgot about it or Time has a ability to heal wounds, and I think people just were ready to move on now. Watch another Bad Boys movie, turn the brain off for a couple hours, have some popcorn, have a soda, and enjoy a film. And at the end of the day, that's all I want. I hate all that other noise, all the Instagram posts, all the commentary around whether or not this is a good person or a bad person or evil or whatever that even means anymore. It's just people are people. And some just have more access to more stuff. And so they're going to utilize it oftentimes in really dumb ways. I have neighbors down the road that uh, they're obnoxiously loud in their stupid golf cart. I couldn't imagine how obnoxious they would be if they had access to millions of dollars in any kind of vehicle they want. They'd be tearing up the road non-stop at all hours of the night. But I want to hear from you though. Were you like me where it was a little hard to watch him after what happened, but you know, eventually I moved past it. And again, it's not because what he did was so egregious and awful compared to others. It's because I saw it physically take place. That's different than, you know, sight unseen situations. You hear about it, but you don't actually see it take place. And there's a big difference there. Let me know though, did you see this movie? Did you boycott it because you just have your own moral code and it doesn't fall in line with you and you don't want to support certain actors and it's not just Will Smith, it's a bunch of people? I'd be interested to know how that rubric plays out because it seems like a, a tricky one to navigate in 2024. Let me know, please leave a comment, like the video, and do me a favor and go ahead and slap that subscribe button, it's down here somewhere, and then you get access to all the videos on the channel, plus future ones, especially if you hit the notification bell.
these will show up right in your feed. If you like the comments, if you like the commentary, I have a second channel, Adam Does Rants, where I rant about all sorts of things not movie related. I keep it fun. I keep it light. I would appreciate if you join me in both places. Hopefully I see you next time.